canción Sé lo que quiero y a dónde voy En mi mochila y el borrón blanco Y un cigarro de esos que te hacen reír Ando sin prisas y sin misterio So, Patty, now we need to know about the Colombian culture in itself. Tell us all the greatest things about Colombia. Now, I, one of my students, university students, she was Colombian, and I told her all the great things about Med, you know, Medellin, and, uh, and there were two other cities that were involved. But then she, um, she mentioned uh, Pablo Escobar, and I'm like, why did you bring him up? And he's like, well, Pablo Escobar is from Medellin, and that every time you talk about Colombia, Pablo Escobar, and I said, I never mentioned anything about Pablo Escobar. He was not even the first, first thing in my thought. But, every, but it's true, I think what she said is like, if you're Colombian, the first story you're gonna hear is Pablo Escobar. That's like the first thing. Because I went to another country. Two, two things. Two things, okay, Shakira what's the Shakira or Pablo Escobar. Shakira okay, or Pablo Escobar. Sha you're right, yes. Shakira as well, absolutely. So, um, but we wanna hear your viewpoint. Tell us all the wonderful things about Colombia and how Colombians um, will be treated in Dubai. Let's do it. Uh, I mean, Colombia is the world's eighth wonder. Uh, it has the two oceans. We have the Pacific and Atlantic. We have a mountain of snow next to the beach. We have um, the biggest river that crosses around the country. We have... Uh, Geographically, it's beautiful. We have everything, right? Mm -hmm. um, the people is just so beautiful. They will receive all the foreigners with all the open arms and make you feel like you're home and treat you like you're their son or their best, you know, best friend. And the food, my God, I can go to Colombia. That's why I don't live in Colombia because <laughs> of the food. I would be like this if I, had, I was living in Colombia. The food is gorgeous, the traditional. As you say, in Medellin, they have something called La, la Bandeja Paisa, which have all the meats, rice, like all, it's beautiful, delicious, not to eat every day, though. Medellin, one of the most beautiful cities in Colombia. The weather is lovely. The women, you want to go, everyone goes to Medellin because mostly because the guys, because of the women. Because uh, they are one of the most pretty ones that they have in the whole Latin America, or I could say in the world. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Colombia, Bogotá. Medellín, Bogotá, Cartagena, Ibagué, Cali, the party is the best. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, Bogotá is a city with a lot of, uh, with a lot, I mean, it's a big city. Therefore, now is like every other city. Everyone at home, closed doors, with mask outside, because it's a, it's a big country and they try to keep it down. But Colombia is a must place to go is history yes we have good history and let's say pablo escobar is people say it's a bad history no it's not it's a good history because we got known by bad or good but we got known um yeah. there is a lot of talent love i love the music scene in colombia because all the artists support each other and and they just just trying to work like the ants, you know, in community so they can actually get strong. That's why the music scene in Colombia is really strong. And now I'm one of my songs is top 20 then. So it's pretty cool. Congratulations. And um, thank you. And well I'll tell you, everything is evolving right now. Right now I don't know if I go to Mexico, which is open like Costa Rica is open, you will see different things. I go to Colombia you will see different things. But as my country is a must go you will have fun for sure. It's not as dangerous as, as, as you know, in the 80s. You could mm. not travel, but now it's really good. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Oh, okay. Well, hey, the thing is this, we'll definitely check I'm it serious. out. I'm serious. Well, I was gonna go, I was gonna go to uh, Bolivia. I was gonna go to Bolivia and then Brazil in 2019. And they were thinking about going to Colombia, but the whole South American tourism got canceled. So I said, okay, let me wait until next year, perhaps, or the year after for me to go to South America. That is one of my main destinations. I want to see what's there. Because I love the Amazon forest. You will fall in love with it. Uh, you see? Um, the biggest thing is this, though, is that, okay, so we spoke about Dubai and we spoke about Colombia. Now we want to talk about uh, Costa Rica. Why are you deciding to live in Costa Rica right now? Well, 
Costa Rica was had the ocean. We, when I was in Dubai, I was performing everywhere. I did big events and I did uh, my regular gigs, as you saw. And, but everything changed when the diving, which is what my husband, my, my husband does, right. uh, changed. And we decided to, to search for new waters because I can do my job anywhere in the world. And I kept coming to Dubai, so I felt I can keep going around the world and the base Costa Rica. The place is beautiful, it's calm, the senses, the sunrises, uh, the tranquility that you live in this country, uh, the ecological, the people, the food, everything reminds me, my country, I'm three hours from home, so I can go to Colombia, take a plane, go to Colombia, and I'll be there in two hours, and see my family. So oh, another thing is because when I arrived here the first year, I saw the response of the people with my music, therefore I saw Okay, this is like Dubai in 2000. I need to take advantage of this. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay. So you're seeing like some new opportunities like opening in Costa Rica, like just brand new opportunities. Oh, yeah. Left, right, up, down. It's like, this is it. The gold mine era. Yeah, yeah, definitely for music. This place needs to grow music. There is so much talent here and so much, but as they say, they need to start uh, thinking and working together and forget this is only about me, 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 me. No, it's about a teamwork. And explain themselves, yeah. Um, explain themselves what they want, how can they support you, how you can support me. Mm. And it's the only thing that is missing. But I think there's so much talent and something good is happening in Costa Rica right now. Is We are in the first, I think, we are in the one of the first levels of, of ready to, to, you know, to how do you take off the yeah. music industry here. You mean, like, you, you mean yeah. like, oh, you mean like launch? Like, you know, it's going up, it's a rising? It's yes, it's, it's, it's taking off the music industry. He just started to take off, yeah. Oh, okay. And now, uh, now, Fatty, the reason why, there were more questions. Oh, this, this, this is Simba. He's from Brazil, Kema, by the way. What? This is Simba. Oh, wait, she's going. Oh, yeah. she's going. She's going. Oh, well, so, since you're going to play that. I got a surprise for you. Okay, you baby boy. We have a surprise for you. Listen to me. Say marhaba. Oh, you kidding me. Oh, my God. What's his name? Well, her name is Bella. And, um, oh, Bella. Yeah, she's also based here as well. But she's a little bit more of a grumpy cat. But she's in a good mood today. She just had her nap. <laughs> this is the rest. We rescued him in, in Oman, actually. Uh, he was so full with the uh, cigarette burns and cuts, and he had food things. So I said, I'll say, I'm bringing that cat with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. And who knows? Hey, there's a lot of, I, I, one thing I like about Dubai, there are a lot of people who own cats. A lot of them actually come from the street. It's just rescue. It's a way to help, right? In a, in a way, I mean, they rescued the first cat that we had. Um, I was, I wasn't keen. And cats, that's what cats do. They just can do whatever they want with you. You know what? <laughs> you oh, just yes. see them and go like, okay, move from my chair. Move out. <laughs> and you just kind of like, okay, I'm going to sit down here so I don't bother. <laughs> oh, you know, that's why I look about cats anyway. At least they're calm, they're chill, they're relaxed. Dogs, I like, we have a dog too, but dogs are more crazy. But dogs, you know, when they, when you go inside the house, they're happy to see you. But, they take a lot of maintenance. Yes. But a cat, they just, they're just more easy to take care of, I guess. So. Uh, they, are, they are more independent. They are more independent. And I guess um, my cat is kind of like a dog too. He just hangs out where I am. And if I leave for one day, he'll be meowing when I arrive like crazy. So it's kind of weird, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think that they have their own personalities, right? Oh, yeah. When you true. have a dog. And when you have a dog and a cat, and the cat goes like, okay, he will take care of them. <laughs> he will just go like moving his tail and I'll be here waiting for, you know, for my pet. Because that's <laughs> what they do. They wait for you to go to them to pet them. Oh, yeah. They don't go to you. Yeah, cats are more patient. They say that cats are actually manipulative. Like they, they think and they watch and they remember. Dogs are like, oh, I just want to go play. Oh, I'm a kindergartner. They act like kindergartners. That's all they are. They're like five-year-olds forever. Yeah, they don't yeah, grow yeah. up. 
No, like Peter Pan. Yeah. Now, Fatty, the thing is now before, now the thing is this, if you really like the show, Fatty, I would love to have you back. I always treat the first episode as uh, an icebreaker show to make the guests feel comfortable. And then the next time you come, then there'll be more interesting questions I'm gonna ask you. Not, not rude questions, okay. interesting questions. Send me, send me the questions before so I can, I can just kind of prepare too. Yes. Yeah, you see? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, like, ooh, I'm having an English interview finally. <laughs> finally, because mostly the people that uh, live abroad, they speak Spanish. Okay. So next interview, you have to ask the questions in Spanish to me, please. Uh, I'll do, I'm definitely going to do that in 2022. 2022, oh. it'll be Spanish. Yes, that'll be my new. Yep, that'll be my in new year. Costa Rica. That'll be my new year goal. You will interview me here in Costa Rica. Uh, if wait, whoever buys the ticket. <laughs> I'm